everything from fighter jets to ICBMs, reconnaissance aircraft and close air support platforms, stealth planes, strategic bombers, and everything in between. I welcome you all to the inaugural episode of my new series, Mill Power. Chapter 1 The Eagle The McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle is legendary in the annals of fighter aviation. With an air-to-air -air combat record of 104 kills to no losses, the Eagle is unrivaled in its legacy. Designed during the Cold War as part of the U.S. Air Force's FX program, the Eagle would ultimately take the lessons of Vietnam and learn from them. After the scare caused by the new MiG-25 Foxbat, which many Western analysts perceived via its characteristics to be superior to anything the West had or was designing, the criteria for the FX program were set as follows. A single-seat fighter, maximum takeoff weight of 40,000 pounds, air supremacy role, a top speed of Mach 2.5 with a thrust to weight ratio at or greater than 1 to 1. From this came the F-15A Eagle, an aircraft more capable than any fighter the US Air Force had fielded. At 42 feet wide, 58 feet long, and 18 feet tall, the 45,000 pound combat loaded fighter had impressive performance in part due to its Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-100 afterburning turbofan engines, pushing out 24 thousand pounds of thrust per engine and afterburner. Combined, the engines at max power provide more thrust than the weight of the aircraft. The first jet aircraft in the world to have a thrust to weight ratio greater than one. Those engines also propelled the fighter to a maximum speed of Mach 2.5 or 1,875 miles per hour at high altitude. With its large wing area, low wing loading ratio, mass divided by wing area, and high thrust to weight ratio, the Eagle had exceptional maneuverability, acceleration, and speed. Those last two factors in particular are the focus of today's topic, Project Streak Eagle. Chapter 2 Streak Eagle Before the F-15 even entered service, McDonnell Douglas and the U.S. Air Force were demonstrating what its new weapons platform was capable of. From 16th of January to the 1st of February 1975, Air Force Majors Roger J. Smith, Willard R. McFarlane, and David W. Patterson, test pilots assigned to the F-15 Joint Test Force at Edwards Air Force Base, California, were taking an early pre-production model F-15A Eagle, Telco 72-0119, nicknamed the Streak Eagle, and push it to its limits. The project had a simple goal. To demonstrate the new fighter's speed, acceleration, and altitude capabilities as set a number of FAI records. The Street Eagle was specially modified by McDonnell Douglas for the record attempts. Various equipment that would not be needed for these flights were eliminated. The flap and speed brake actuators, the M61 Vulcan cannon and ammunition handling equipment, radar, fire control systems, unneeded cockpit displays and radios, and one generator. Other equipment was added, and a steady pitot boom that was mounted at the nose with alpha and beta vanes. Equipment for the pilot's David Clark Company AP2256 full pressure suit, extremely extensive accelerometers and other instrumentation, extra batteries, an in-cockpit video camera aimed over the pilot's shoulder, and perhaps the most important, a special holdback device was installed in place of the fighter's standard arresting hook. This becomes very important soon. These modifications made the Street Eagle roughly 1,800 pounds lighter than a production F-15A, giving it a thrust to weight ratio of 1.4 to 1. The flight profiles for the program were developed by retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Charles Pete Garrison, McDonnell Douglas' chief developmental test pilot. Taking place at Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota, the Street Eagle pilots would pursue eight time-to-climb records, 3,000 meters, 9,843 feet, 6,000 meters, 19,685 feet, 9,000 meters, 29,685 feet, 12,000 meters, 39,370 feet, 15,000 meters, 49,212 feet, 20,000 meters, 65,617 feet, 25,000 meters, 82,021 feet, and 30,000 meters, 98,425 feet. Chapter 3 Aquila Maxima.
Now we get into the records themselves. 16th of January would be a productive day for the team, setting five time to climb records in a single day. First up would be Major Roger J. Smith, chasing the 3,000 meter record. The Shriek Eagle on the runway at Grand Forks that morning weighed 27,972 pounds, giving it a thrust to weight ratio at full afterburn of 1.7 to 1. Running the aircraft at max power, the brakes were released and the Shriek Eagle took to the skies in 4 seconds using less than 500 feet of runway. Accelerating to 460 miles an hour, Major Smith pulls 5 G's, pointing the plane upwards 80 degrees. Due to the high thrust to weight ratio, the Shriek Eagle continues to accelerate before reaching Mach 1 and the 3000 meter threshold in a record 27.57 seconds, shattering the previous record of 34.5 seconds. From brakes released to altitude, the Street Eagle had an average speed of 357 feet per second. Next major, Willard McFarland would take the 6,000 meter, 9,000 meter, and 12,000 meter records in one flight. The Street Eagle sat on the runway with more fuel than the first record attempt, weighing in at 28,653 pounds and having a thrust to weight ratio closer to 1.67 to 1. Upon brake release, the aircraft lifted off the ground in just under 5 seconds and accelerated to 537 miles per hour. Only back on the stick, Major McFarlane angled the Streak Eagle up 80 degrees and continued to accelerate, breaking Mach 1 in 23 seconds after starting the roll. Crossing the 6,000 meter threshold in 39.33 seconds at Mach 1.05, Major McFarlane continued his climb. The Streak Eagle would cross the next 3,000 meters in 9.53 seconds to reach 9,000 meters in 48.86 seconds. Ascending still, the final threshold of 12,000 meters was crossed in 59.38 seconds after brake release. To put this into perspective, 6,000 meters, or 19,685 feet, is roughly 300 feet higher than Africa's tallest mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro, in under 40 seconds. 9,000 meters, 29,685 feet, is taller than Mount Everest in under 49 seconds and 12,000 meters, 39,370 feet, is the height of high altitude commercial flights in under a minute. The last record set for the day would be set by Major David Patterson at 15,000 meters. For this flight and all subsequent attempts, the pilots would be required to wear the AP-2256 full pressure suit due to the high altitude nature of the flight profiles, this time weighing 28,894 pounds with a thrust to weight ratio of 1.6 to 1 the jet leaped off the runway and accelerated only 50 feet off the runway up to 450 miles per hour. Executing a 4G pull up to 55 degrees attitude, Major Peterson accelerated to Mach 1 in 25 seconds and broke through 15,000 meters in 77.04 seconds. This would conclude the record breaking for the day. The three pilots would set the five new time to climb records in only six hours. Over the next two weeks, they took the Streak Eagle even higher. On its left vertical fin, painted Aquila Maxima. Chapter 4 Simper, Artiatum. The next three records were held by the aircraft that spurred the FX program into what became the Eagle, the Russian MiG-25 Foxbat. On 19th January, Major Roger J. Smith took the Streak Eagle to its sixth FAI and U.S. National Aeronautics Association time to climb record in pursuit of the 20,000 meter record. This would be the Streak Eagle's sixth record in just three days and the first it claimed from the Foxbat. Weighing 29,877 pounds, it was secured to a holdback device on the runway and the engines were run up to full afterburn. It was released from the holdback device and was airborne in just three seconds. At 450 miles an hour, Major Smith pulled a 2.5G implement turn, maintaining the maneuver until the jet was flying inverted at 9,753 meters or 32,000 feet in 56 seconds and at Mach 1.1. Accelerating up to Mach 1.5, 35 seconds later, Major Smith levels out and pulls 4Gs to 55 degrees and ascends to 20,000 meters in 122.94 seconds beating the Fox back by 46.8 seconds, a 28% margin. A week later, on the 26th of January, Major David Peterson would attempt the next Fox Bat record of 25,000 meters. Weighing in at 30,562 pounds and having a thrust to weight ratio of 1.5 to 1, the jet lifted off the runway and less than seven lengths of the aircraft 
and in under 5 seconds after the whole bag device is released. Much like the previous records a week prior, Major Peterson accelerated to 450 miles per hour and performed a 2.5 G in woman turn to 9,753 meters at Mach 1.1. Showing the Streak Eagle's impressive power, the plane goes from Mach 1.1 to Mach 1.8 in 55 seconds and pulls upwards in a 4G maneuver up to 55 degree angle. Major Peterson climbs rapidly, eclipsing the 25,000 meter bar in 161.02 seconds, beating the Foxback time of 192.6 seconds. This was the Street Eagle's seventh world and national record in 10 days. Finally, on the 1st of February, Major Roger Smith would go after the final time to climb record at 30,000 meters. This would be the heaviest the aircraft weighed during the program's trials at 31,908 pounds, sporting a 1.4 to 1 thrust to weight ratio. The Street Eagle rolls down the runway, lifting off the ground at 500 feet and accelerating to 450 miles per hour in 17 and a half seconds. Major Smith then performs the 2.5 G omen turn like the previous two record breaking flights. Leveling off at 32,000 feet and at Mach 1.1, the Streak Eagle shows its power and accelerates in a slight climb. Only two minutes after takeoff, it's reached 37,000 feet and is flying at an astonishing Mach 2.2. Major Smith then pulls four Gs and noses up to 60 degrees, the raw speed and power of the Streak Eagle carrying him even higher. Holding the fighter at this attitude, Major Smith continues his climb until he had to shut the engines down to prevent overheating in the thinner atmosphere. The Street Eagle breaks his final record, 30,000 meters in 207.8 seconds, beating the Fosbat by a whole 36 seconds. The aircraft continues to climb ballistically, on momentum alone, until it reached nearly 31,394 meters, close to 103,000 feet. Losing its momentum by the time it reached its peak altitude, the Streak Eagle came over the top at only 63 miles per hour before it was pushed over into a 55 degree dive. After descending to 16,764 meters, or 55,000 feet, the Pride and Windy F-100s were restarted and a record-breaking Eagle returned to Grand Forks Air Force Base. This final record was the third taken from the MiG-25 Foxbat and the eighth time to climb record set in only 17 days. Chapter 5 Legacy. Shattering eight world time to climb records in just over two weeks, the program achieved what it originally set out to do. The Streak Eagle, the 17th F 15 built, would help validate the new fighter's capabilities and pave the way for future Eagles to enter service as part of the F 15 Joint Test Force. Today, there have been over 1,700 F 15 Eagles built. 1,200 Air Superiority Eagles, the F 15s A, B, C, D, J, and DJ variants, and 500 ground attack F-15E strike eagles. The U.S. Air Force retired the last F-15A, the variants the Streak Eagle 72-0119 was, in 2009 as their mission was taken over by the F-15C Eagle. The F-15C Eagle takes all the lessons, strengths, and capabilities of the F-15A, capabilities the Streak Eagle helped solidify and demonstrate, and turns them up to 11. Newer Pratt & Whitney engines which were more reliable and with faster response time, better radar, superior avionics, and improved armaments. F-15A Street Eagle Air Force Serial Number 72-0119 was painted after its record-breaking flights by manufacturer McDonnell Douglas to prevent corrosion. Because the Street Eagle was a very early production Eagle, with its internal structure weaker than that of a final production F-15A, it was considered too costly to modify to standard so the legendary fighter was delivered to the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio in December 1980. It currently sits in storage. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to make the first video of this series about an F-15 as it's the fighter that sparked my love of military aviation at a very young age. Big, fast, undefeated and powerful. What's not to love? The Street Eagle is one of my favorite F-15s ever built, and the world record-breaking escapades captivated my imagination, as I hope it does yours.